Hi everyone, um, I'm Alex and we have uh, Navy the Corgi here. She's not paying attention. Um, but today we are going to do a Vita Essentials unboxing video. We received an amazing box of goodies from Vita Essentials to uh, welcome us into their pet influencer program. Um, a little background and disclaimer before we get started. Um, Navy has actually been loving and posting about Vita Essentials ever since she was a little pup. So we were really excited to hear that um, they wanted to partner with us. If you don't follow us on Instagram, um, Navy's a pretty simple dog. Uh, one of her favorite treats are ice cubes and favorite toys, water bottles. But uh, Navy is very bougie when it comes to feeding. Um, up until trying Vite Essentials, actually, um, Navy had a bit of an issue with feeding. And um, when she was a little puppy, she had some stomach issues. We tried almost every single top brand under the sun um, for Navy to try. And don't get me wrong, they were super amazing brands. Um, they just um, didn't really pique Navy's interest. We looked into feeding Navy raw ourselves, but um, we were a little bit nervous about um, ensuring she received all the proper nutrition she needed. We're not vets. Um, we're just trying our best to make sure that Navy is the most healthy she can be. Navy absolutely loves Vite Essentials freeze-dried treats, and we were really excited and interested to hear that they had a freeze-dried um, and raw um, dog food. So we first tried Vite Essentials, um, their freeze-dried turkey mini nibs. And um, in the box we received from Vite Essentials, we got the duck mini nibs. And I'm gonna let Navy be the judge of all of these. But one thing that we really love about Vite Essentials is um, exactly what it says on the front of the bag is exactly what's in the bag and on the back of the bag. So you're not getting this whole laundry list of um, <laughs> ingredients. It really is just um, duck and then um, some essential oils to help Navy's coat. So we feed Navy um, a half cup of this in the morning and then a half cup in the evening. So one thing we picked out next, which I gave Navy for dinner, um, was the turkey topper. So you can either feed that to your pet um, on its own or mix it with our kibble, which we have been doing to transition Navy to completely raw. And here it is, the turkey topper. So um, <clears throat> exactly what it says on the front of the bag is exactly what's in the back. And it comes with a little scoop and uh, we just sprinkled it over her kibble to get her transition to raw. So the next thing we picked out were some Vita Essential Freeze Dried Treats. Um, Navy has actually already gone through four different types of um, the freeze-dried treats as a puppy. Um, I think we started off with the salmon and then um, we had moved on to the minnows, which she loves, um, and then beef bits and um, turkey bits as well. So we wanted to try um, some more turkey because she does uh, like poultry. So these are um, turkey fries. And uh, they're a little bit bigger of a treat, so these are going to be um, more of like a special treat for Navy, although she's gotten quite a bit today. And then the next thing we wanted to try, because Navy really does have a preference for um, duck protein, is the um, duck liver. And so the front does say Vite Essentials cats, but um, don't 
be worried. This can be for dogs and cats. Um, what it says on the front is exactly what's on the back. So all that's in there is duck liver. So it's a great reward, great treat for both cats and dogs. Finally, what we were excited for most were the Vita Essentials Freeze Dried Chicken Breast Treats. So a little backstory, um, throughout every training we've been to with Navy, um, all the trainers said the secret to training is to really find a treat that your pet absolutely loves and that'll motivate them to get through training and keep their attention. Um, we tried some of the big box brands, uh, their training treats that are low calories we can just throw out a bunch to the dog. Um, and maybe um, she just really did not love them. Um, they didn't motivate her very much. And when you're training puppies, you want to keep their attention, want to keep them motivated um, so they can learn the good habits you want them to learn. So what we started doing was cutting up little pieces of chicken or hot dogs, anything that was um, super smelly and super good and caught her attention. Um, <clears throat> and she loved the hot dogs and chicken bits, but... Um, the only issue is that our hands, after training, you know, throwing out all these, um, these pieces of meat, they would be super slimy and um, just absolutely gross and stinky and um, it would get moldy after a while. So we, um, that's when we had started to try the freeze dry because you can take them literally anywhere. And so we were so excited to try the chicken breast bits because... Um, brought back all the great memories of cutting up all the chicken for her training. And she absolutely loves these too, which really helps as we've continued her training and as we start um, agility training with her. Um, so finally, the last thing that we had got in our box was um, just some pamphlets, more about feeding raw, uh, more about Vice Central's brand itself. And um, yeah, if you guys want to hear anything more about why we transitioned to Raw, um, why we made that decision, feel free to um, let us know. We're happy to talk about it. Thanks for watching, guys.